Hi and welcome back to Bible and Audio where I read aloud and I hope you follow along maybe with your own Bible or just have a listen. Um, today we are in Deuteronomy 33 and we will be also reading Deuteronomy 34. Um, what to pray about today? I think I'm just going to pray that all is well. So please join me. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity again to be with you, to read your word. I give you things that we're in a country that we can read your word and then we can do it without uh, retaliation from a government that doesn't allow it. I know that it isn't a free, it isn't free to be, um, to practice uh, worshiping you in, in, in all countries. I know that. So I give you thanks. I pray that all is well with the viewer, whatever they have going on today in their life. I, I pray that they're able to put it down for a moment, give it to you, have peace in their heart and in their mind so that they're able to receive a word, that they're able to hear your voice and not my own. And as always, I ask that you're in the midst of this reading, that it's you that moves things around and, and puts attention on something, sheds light on a verse that maybe we don't understand. And I have full faith that this word is true, that it is holy, and it is God's word. And for that reason, I give you thanks. And I pray that all is well with the listeners. And um, just to give you thanks, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, so let's dive right into 33. Moses' final blessing on Israel. Now this is the blessing with which Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and dawned on them from Seir. He shone forth from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousand of saints from his right hand, came a fury law for them. Guess he loves the people. All his saints are in your hand. They sit down at your feet. Everyone receives your words. Moses commanded a law for us, a heritage of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Jeshurun, but the leaders of the people were gathered, all the tribes of Israel together. Let Reuben live and not die, nor let his men be few. And this he said of Judah, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him to his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and may you be a help against his enemies. And of Levi he said, Let your Thummim and your Urim be with your Holy One, whom you tested at Massah, and with whom you contended at the waters of Meribah, who says of the father and mother, I have not seen them, nor did he acknowledge his brothers or know his children, for they have observed your word and kept your covenant. They shall teach Jacob your judgments and Israel your law. They shall put incense before you and a whole burnt sacrifice on your altar. Bless his substance, Lord, and accept the work of his hands. Strike the loins of those who rise against him and of those who hate him, that they rise not again. Of Benjamin, he said, the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, who shelters him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. And of Joseph, he said, Blessed of the Lord is, the, is, his, hand, is his land, with the precious things of heaven, with the dew, and the deep lion beneath, with the precious fruits of the sun, with the precious produce of the months, with the best things of the ancient mountains with the precious things of the everlasting hills, with the precious things of the earth and its fullness, and the favor of him who dwelt in the bush. Let the blessing come on the head of Joseph, and on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brothers. His glory is like a firstborn bull, and his horns like the horns of a wild ox. Together with them he shall push the peoples to the ends of the earth. They are the ten thousands of, of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulon he said, Rejoice, Zebulon, in your going out, and Issachar in your tents. They shall call the peoples to the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness. For they shall partake of the abundance of the seas, and of treasures hidden in the sand. And of Gad he said, Blessed is he who enlarges Gad. He dwells as a lion, and tears the arm and the crown of his head. He provided the first part for himself, because a lawgiver because a lawgiver's portion was reserved there. He came with the heads of the people. He administered the justice of the Lord and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's whelp. He shall leap from the shine. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full of the blessing of the Lord, possess the west and the south. And of Asher, he said, 
Asher is most blessed of sons. Let him be favored for, by his brothers, and let him dip his foot in oil. Your sandals shall be iron and bronze, and your days so shall your strength be. There is no one like the God of Jeshurun, who rides the heavens to help you. And in his excellency on the clouds, the eternal God is your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. He will thrust out the enemy from before you, and will say, Destroy! Then Israel shall dwell in safety, the fountain of Jacob alone. In a land of grain and new wine, his heavens shall also drop dew. Happy are you, O Israel, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord. The shield of your help and the swords of your majesty, your enemies shall submit to you, and you shall tread down their high places. Chapter 34 Moses Dies on Mount Nebo Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab and, Mount, and up to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is across from Jericho, and the Lord showed him all the land of Gilead, as far as Dan, all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and of Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the west, western sea, the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as Zor. Then the Lord said to him, This is the land which I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants, I will have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. So Moses, servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab, opposite Beth Peor. But no one knows his grave to this day. Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes were not dim, nor his natural vigor diminished. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses ended. Now Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him, so the children of Israel heeded him, and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. But since there, but since then there has not risen in Israel a prophet like Moses. Let me say that again. But since then there has not arisen in Israel a prophet like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face, in all the signs and wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt before Pharaoh, before all of his servants, and in all his land, and by the, that mighty power and all the great terror which Moses performed in the sight of Israel. Blessed be the word of the Lord. I pray that you are blessed, that you have a good day. Take care, and God bless you. Bye.